Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne, and we've taken another day off to tour and get ready for 2025, 2026. We're at the Darwin Field Days at Ball Horticultural, and I stopped by one of my favorite spots. This is a garden designed by Roy Diblick, a sustainable garden, and I just want to show you a little bit about some of the plants here, some of the combinations. Um, this was actually put in very poor soils, and Roy is so thoughtful about plant selection in terms of adaptation as well as combinations. And he puts plants in that are gonna grow in these kind of conditions. So the soils have not been amended. We're seeing some beautiful allium in here. I'm sure this taller is all summer beauty. Some of these geraniums, Max Fry. And one more plant in this combination is Cecilaria or Autumn Moorgrass. So a pretty simple but effective combination. Look how full and dense this is. Let's switch over to the other side where there's a little bit more variety put in. The Stackies or Betany was integrated here. Um, we've got the taller Russian Sage in the background. Look at the sporadic cone flowers in the bed. Um, this giving us this pop of purple color. Uh, we've also got some yarrow and some geraniums in the bed. So giving us some really nice summer color here. Look at the yarrow spreading. And then this beautiful Calamenta, great pollinator plant. Also very fragrant plant as well. What a beautiful combination through here. Very low maintenance, adapted to the sites. Again, Roy is very thoughtful when he, he considers the plantings and does this design. Came across this combination outside their cafeteria and I kind of like this little matrix here where they've got palace purple just on the edge, simple corobel, the stackies or betony, the spirobolis or prairie drop seed. In the background here is gonna be some large baptisia. So this is gonna be some nice early spring color. And then in the very background here, actually some monarda kind of naturalized within this uh, group. So really kind of a cool combination here. Again, very low maintenance, full sun. The field days here, it's not just about the perennials and some of the combinations and gardens, but it's also about some of the annuals. So they have some of these beautiful annual beds scattered throughout the gardens. And even in the background there, you can see a whole bunch of the different annual combinations. I'll share a few of the containers as well as the hanging baskets and fun, colorful stuff as well. We're entering this very refreshing space here where there's a lot of containers that are designed for shade. So you th see things with begonias, uh, the coleus, the ferns, the sweet potato vine, a little bit of color with the impatience, but beautiful combinations that they've put together here. Uh, super colorful in some of these combinations. And again, for this extremely hot summer day, this is such a nice area to collect and there's a lot of space in here, a lot of beauty tropical plants in the background here, a bunch of caladiums over there, and again, just some beautiful and effective shade combinations. Behind me, you can see some of the sun containers. We were also in the shade container area there. So again, just showing us some different combinations here at Ball. Um, also behind me are quite a few of the gardens. So it's beautifully landscaped with annuals integrated, and these are all products of Ball and Darwin. And then I'm gonna end here with the permanent plantings. Uh, in the background, you see a lot of Sporobolus, but I love how they've integrated all the annuals within here for this beautiful pop of color. So gorgeous little display here with these planters. A great day here at Ball. So I wanna thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.